Back in the junk room, guys. Really quick video. And I say that all the time, but this one is because this is just going to be opening mail. We got some mail from uh, one of the many millions of junk man fans out there in the world. Uh, from Philip. I don't know if he wants me to give his last name and everything, but a big shout out. A big thank you to Phil. Guess it's okay to call you Phil, but here it is. Straight from FedEx. Let me uh, cover up my address right there, but I guess you can't see that. Uh, I'm not even sure what it is. I know he told me at least one thing's probably in it. I'm not really sure. Let's open this bad boy up. As you can see, I haven't even opened it. Just, just got here. Let's open it up. And take a look and see what a Phil sent us. Hopefully it's something we can decorate our room. Let's hope it's not a bomb. Want to be some shit. Blowing up on YouTube. I ain't do nothing to make Phil angry. It does get you kind of worried with all the bombing in the news, all the mail bombs in the news. Starting to kind of worry myself. I see toys. So, I think we're good. Thank you, Bill. Uh, they really pack this stuff in there, don't they? We're getting it. Finally. Okay. Now I think we're finna roll here. Let's pull out the first one. You'll put it in here. Pull out the first guy. Oh, man, look at this. This is awesome, guys. Thank you so much. I don't have any superpower action figures. And I think I was talking to Phil about that, that uh, reason I don't, you don't really see me do much superpower stuff because I don't have any. But there's a Robin. Look at that. I have a Robin. Look. That's, that's going to re look really great up here with the toys and everything. So thank you so much. Now, let's see if he stands up real good. He's probably not. Maybe we can just sit him down right there and he can watch it. In fact, I think his knees might hang over the side. That's pretty cool. I really enjoyed that. Now I'm going to have to do, uh, if you're watching, this is not really a good detailed video about superpowers. Because uh, it's more just see what's in here. Let's see. We got another superpowers. Man, you're killing me here. You're going to give me, went from zero to a lot, it looks like. Aquaman. Who doesn't like Aquaman? Now, if you're uh, into superpowers, we did a special podcast all about superpowers. About the Kenner Superpowers line. It was up just for our Patreon supporters, but I went ahead and released it being it was two months old. And honestly, we don't have any supporters, so I felt like I was just wasting my time. But we're going to have more exclusive. It's just kind of hard to have a lot of exclusives when you only got like three people to look at it. That's my way to shame you into joining my Patreon site. Hope you can hear me. I don't have my mic on. Let's sit him right there. Aquaman, let's hold him up so you can see. Sorry, I don't even think I showed him off. Look at that. Very good condition, too. Man, I feel like... I thank you a lot, Bill, but, man, I feel like, man, you could have sold these on eBay if you didn't want them, but they went to a good home, trust me. So let's put him right there. I'm going to have to find, I'm thinking about putting some shelves up here, taking down some of this stuff here and put some shelves up. Oh, we got another superpower. And look, this one's got a little extra with it. Look at this. A Kenner proof of purchase. That's pretty neat. God, he's got to love anything Kenner, but this is, here we go. Wonder Woman and her uh, lasso that makes you tell the truth. I'll let you put that right there. Look at these are really good conditions. I can't believe it. Look. Man. So I'm going to have to do a whole better video on these soon. Yeah, there you go. I'll do, like I said, a better video on these. You know, I have more time to actually go through each one. But we did the podcast. The podcast, I go through each series, and I go through what's coming out. I mean, what was planned to come out, and why I think the line fell. Oh, uh, well, here we go. Now, I don't... Is this Cyborg? Is that his name? No, it's... Parademon? I don't know. Cyborg? Like I said, I don't know the line that good, because I never had him as a kid. I only had Batman. I only... Well, I think I... No, I think it was Superman I had. But look at there. He's, that's pretty neat. I should have done a two camera angle, but I didn't know what was in here. Put him right there. Let's see what else we got. You're killing me. Can't believe all this. Man, did you send me the whole entire line? Thank you again so much. I cannot believe somebody would do this. 
because uh, I don't understand why nobody would want it themselves. Oh, kind of sticky wing there. There he is, Hawkman. And uh, I guess his rings, wings flap somehow. That looks, man, this is going to look really good. I thought they got some figure stands, because I don't think they really stand that great. Uh, the robot guy stands really good. He's not going to sit because of his wings, so we'll just have to, we'll put him right, we'll put him right there. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, now this is one I think I had. Man, the wings on that guy were, wings were sticky. Here we go, look at that. Yeah, this was thing about memory that I did. Oh, I forgot all about this cape. Cause I used to take it off and put it on my Star Wars figures. I did, I had a little uh, Dracula too, I used to put it on. I forgot all about that. Look at him running. Oh, hold it up so the camera can see. Again, like I said, I'll take pictures and everything and put it on Twitter so we can have a little bit better look. Uh, a little luck, a little better look at him. Should have did a live video. That would have been fun. I should have done a live video of this. Who else we got here? We got this guy with this. Looks like a turd coming out of his head. What is it? Flame? See, I should know. I've talked about them. I know their names. I'm just drawing a blank. Firestorm. Good looking figure right there. Man, I think this guy sent me the whole. I think I went through the. I have a none to the whole complete collection, dude. Hmm. And another one pulled out here. Uh, I mean, these are in really good shape, too. Look at this. Everybody knows that is Green Lantern. And he's got his Green Lantern in here. I'm going to leave it in the bag just so I don't break it or anything. Man, look at that. Oh, no! Superman tried to commit Suey. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Man, the box just gets deeper and deeper. This is a cool one too. Look at this. Lex. Lex Luthor. Let you see the front and the back of him. Man. Thank you again so much. Let's see if we can see him down. You want to see him down? These are very good looking figures. Like I said, I haven't seen them in so long. I hadn't really paid much attention to the detail of them. Whew. Man. I got a friend that's really into DC and comics and stuff. Which I like comics too, don't get me wrong. He's just really into it more than I am. He's gonna, I'm gonna send him a picture of these in a second. He's gonna flip out. They don't have any and he would die for these. Look at the Flash. I always like the Flash. Kinda. I mean, I always like this version. I have not watched the TV show, but remember that show, what was that, in 90? They did a Flash TV show with a guy from God and Light. Played Kelly. I'm probably the only one that knows that, but that's where I remember it from. Let's see what else we got. Man, we still got stuff in this bag. Ooh, look at this guy here. And yeah, sorry, I don't remember this guy's name. I feel bad now. I don't remember. Hold it up for the camera to see. Hey, <laughs> we'll put him. I think I don't think he'll sit down. We'll put him. That's a, man. These are some good-looking figures. Of course, he's got his little weapon right there. I'm gonna leave it in the bag. Also, again, Phil. Thank you so much. This is amazing. I cannot believe this. And here's Dark Side, Dark Shade. What's his name? Dark something. Dark side, I don't know. That's Star Wars. Oh, and his eyes light up when the light hits it, kind of like the Scarecrow and the Jawas. And that's, put it up. These are some really great looking figures. Man, we still got more. Is this a Parademon? One day I'm going to pull out a Parademon, because I keep saying Parademon, because I don't even know what a Parademon is. I just heard the name a lot. Like I said, I was into, I didn't really get into the comics until 90s more. Growing up, I wasn't really into comics. I mean, I like them and everything. I, just, <laughs> I like comics and everything. I just wasn't, you know, I was into the Star Wars Marvel comics. His arm's falling off, but I'll find a way to fix that later. Look at that guy right there. That's pretty neat, too. Let's see where we can put him. His legs are kind of weird. I don't know if this guy's gonna stand up at all. Let's see, we'll put him there. We'll put him there. Hey, yeah, we'll lean him against the mic. And then uh, I have to try to reach these down here. 
I know this isn't too entertaining, is it? Okay, I'm right there. Now, I mean, I do the typical Super Power Ranger. I'm going to one, maybe two the most, maybe. And just make all this. I mean, thank you so much, Bill. Look at that. And the box. I think I got the last one in the box. Let's see. I'm the first. Now, I'm going to go back and make sure I got the old collection. They're a little sticky, but all vintage toys get like that, it seems like. And here's a green guy. Again, sorry, I don't remember his name. I'm sure in the comments you're going to leave and tell me his name. And I'm going to feel stupid for not knowing it. No! least figure in the box I think I'll double check is this guy I remember talking about him on the podcast but I don't remember his name the cruel crod cock something Pretty dark shit stay right there let's just double check Oh, uh, whatever, Phil, I won't read that. Uh, so I'll, uh, I won't read this over, but it might be something personal he don't want me to read to you. So I'll read it once I cut the camera off. That's the Superpowers collection from Phil. Now, part of my junk, I'm going to have to find a new shelf for it. I'm going to have to find some way. And again, you got one more thing in this box. I'll just pull it out. I'm not sure what it is, but it's Star Wars related. Look at that, some kind of sticker book. Ah, yeah, it is. Got some good stickers in here. Look at that. I like those stickers. Don't let my sons find this. These stickers will be all over my walls. That's pretty neat. What is this? This is I'm trying to see how old this is. I don't. I think I remember this Skybox magazine. Don't think it's that old. Ninety-six. You know, right around a little after the special edition came out. Uh, pretty neat too. I'll have to go through that later. Look page by page. Again, Phil, thank you, and thank you all for watching. I cannot believe somebody would send me all this. This is just crazy. Uh, like I said, I don't have any superpowers. I always wanted to collect them, but money's tied up in Star Wars, so I never really did. This is amazing. Hey, sorry, Robin, no Batman. That's okay, we'll get you a Batman. And I wanna thank you all for watching. And thank you all for liking my videos, having as much fun as I do watching them, because I hope you have fun watching me blabber and rant about toys and Star Wars, as I love making these videos. And it's a lot of fun making them, and it actually, and when I do make them, it kind of helps me remember some of the past times of the old toys of the 80s, some things even I forgot about. Um, so again, thank you, Phil, and thank you all for liking my videos, subscribing to the channel, and just being and coming back. Because I know sometimes I do some videos that's probably not worth watching, and then I do some good ones. I do. I mean, I'll be honest. I got some hits and misses. Uh, sometimes it might be misses. Sometimes, sometimes it might be more misses than hits. But I think I do a good variety. And while I'm gonna brag about myself here or talk about myself, I know it's a lot of people talk. I know it's a lot of YouTube channels. They'll post video after video bashing Star Wars or bashing what we all love and I don't understand the fun in that it would not be any fun for me to sit up here and talk bad about Star Wars or superpowers or something like that I saw a video where this guy talked all about how bad the 90s toys was I'm not gonna do a bad toy now I might do one of the joke and some hey these figures were bad but I'll throw in some good ones there too but I don't understand the fun of going back to a YouTube channel and hear somebody ragging on something that you are a fan of now if I went to see a new Star Wars movie I would do an honest review, say if I didn't like it, but I wouldn't sit here and make, I wouldn't sit here and make five, ten videos every day about Kathleen Kennedy ruined my childhood. Kathleen Kennedy's got an agenda and stuff like that. I'm going to try to keep everything positive as much as I can. And I hope you enjoy that I keep it positive also. If it's something I don't have a passion to talk about. But I'm not saying if you want to talk, if you want to talk bad about Star Wars and that's what you want your channel to be, hey, more power to you. But here we go, the Superpowers Collection from Kenner. Thank you again, Phil, and thank you all for watching. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs>